Hi there guys, going to be another video on the Edgun Leshy 2 regulator today. What I thought I'd do is I'd give you a um, technical reference for the setting the reg pressure. So what I'm going to be doing is adjusting the reg pressure a quarter turn at a time and reading the reg pressure. What I'll also be doing is taking my um, calipers and giving you a reading, a depth reading in here. So I'll read that there, 8mm and I'll show you what it reads on the gauge here. This should be useful to those of you who don't have reg testers yet. Um, I know they're quite hard to get a hold of. This is obviously a custom one that I made, but if, you've, if you're if you waiting for one, this is a good way to test the rig pressure without having the gauge. Although that being said, it's up to you to sort out your own gun. This is just what I'm doing. And whatever you do, that's down to you. Okay, before we start, I just thought I'd explain a little why you would need to change the regulator pressure in your rifle. Um, the simple answer is for power reasons. The higher the reg pressure, the higher the potential power. In the UK, we are limited to the sub 12 foot pound rule. This means the muzzle energy of the rifle cannot exceed 12 foot pounds without an FAC license. So our concern is more on the power curve. Now I won't get too technical in this video as this is a hammerless rifle. I'm not quite sure if the data is directly comparable but I intend to find that out as we get further into the tuning of the rifle. But for now just a quick information video about the different settings on the reg. So, start off with what I've done is I've wound the regulator all the way in till it touches the bottom. You feel it just touch the end of the regulator piston. So this setting on my rifle is just over 8mm. We'll call it 8mm for the sake of argument. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take it out a quarter of a turn Pressure it up and we'll see what reg pressure we get. Okay, um, it do doesn't seem to be reading on the gauge, so what this means is the regulator is still closed. Um, I don't think any air will escape if I. Yeah, so there is a tiny amount of air leaking from this part here, so that means the regulator is only letting a very small amount of air into this cylinder. So, what I'll do. So I'll bleed it from this end, readjust the reg, another quarter of a turn and see what it reads on the gauge. Okay, so another quarter of a turn, still nothing on the gauge. If we undo the bleed, this is pressurised still, but as you can hear from the low hiss, there's only a very small amount of air in the plenum. So depressurise it, same thing again, another quarter of a turn, let's see what that gets us. If you're wondering what I'm doing between tests, is this is a, a homemade tester that I made. It's simply got a foster fitting on this end, a bleed screw here, and it just interfaces with the regulator plenum. So all I do when the regulator is locked like this is I undo this. It unleashes the pressure from the high pressure side of the regulator because no air or very little air is moving through the regulator into the plenum. OK, I'll bring you back in a second. After three quarters, so we did a quarter first, nothing on the regulator, another quarter, nothing. This quarter, I believe we have 10 bar in the regulator. You can see it there. Camera doesn't like the white face very much, but you can see it. It's just on that line there. So three quarters out equals 10 bar. What I'll do now is I'll take this off and get a measurement for you on the regular adjuster screw. Okay, so it's depressurised and the reading on the calipers is about 7.7. .7. So, we started off at 8, backed it off 3 quarters of a turn, we're at 7.7. .7. That gives us 10 bar on the reg. So what I'll do now is I'll do another quarter of a turn, see where it's at, and then we can start going up incrementally. So a quarter of a turn out, 
7.57, roughly in that range. Not the most accurate way in the world, but I did get out my depth mic, but you can't see it on the camera very well, so we'll stick to the calipers. You can read that nice and easy. I'll get it pressurised up, see where we are. Okay, so that quarter of a turn brought us up to about 35 on the gauge. You see there, just in the middle of 30 and 40, so we call that 35. Okay, so 7.6 got us to 35 bar. We'll do another quarter of a turn. See where that gets us. Brings us to just under 7.5. I'm guessing the screw thread in this is going to be a 0.5 millimeter pitch, which means every revolution of the screw translates to a half a millimetre movement. So we just measured just under seven and a half. I'll pressurise it back up and see what pressure we're getting. Brings us to 70 bar on the gauge. The camera will focus. There it goes. 70 bar there. So 70 bar is one full turnout and a quarter. So one full turn and a quarter out from a dead stop in the regulator gets us 70 bar and the measurement is just under seven and a half. So bring you back in a minute. Okay, so another quarter turn. There we go. That brings us to 7.3. You get the idea now guys. Um, there you go. It's about 105 on the gauge I'd call that which is lining up nicely with our previous results. I'll depressurise it, another quarter of a turn. I'll bring it back in a second. So, there you go. 140 by my eye. So, I'm not going to go another full quarter of a turn. I think what I'm going to do is just do half, well, half of a quarter, so an eighth of a turn. Um, if I remember rightly, I don't believe these regulators like being turned up too high. I don't know what the maximum pressure is, but I'm certainly not ever going to go above 150. So, I'll do another eighth of a turn. We'll see what it reads. Okay, I changed my mind. I think what we'll do is we'll go another quarter of a turn, just for consistency's sake. And then this will be the last reading that I do. So, I'll get this pressurised up, and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, so as expected, it's another 35 bar of pressure increase. We're about two, um, sorry, 175 from 140. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get all my results, put them in front of you, and then we'll have a chat. So here are the results. Um, what I'll do is I'll type these up and put them in a spreadsheet um, or in the description below this video, that'd be easier. So look for the description below. Uh, what I went, what I did was in between each pressure change I properly mic'd up the change so I showed you the calipers which would adjust the rough um, view and then I went in with the depth micrometer and did it properly and I recorded the results down here and what pressure roughly it gave us. This is a wiki gauge, so it's a pretty good gauge. Um, the only one I would say at the bottom there, I don't believe it's safe for the regulator to be up this high. I think um, I recall somewhere seeing 160 as the limit. Um, I turned mine up just to see what out would happen. I've had a look at the piston, there doesn't seem to be any damage, so I'm alright. But I think 160 is your limit for this regulator. Okay, so apart from that, each one of these is roughly a quarter of a turn. Um, you'll see that the measurements aren't exact, so I didn't get an exact quarter of a turn each time, but it should give you a good idea of how far out the adjuster screw needs to come to reach your desired pressure. In this test, we found that a quarter of a turn is roughly 35 bar. That's different from what Ed Gunn says. All I can guess is that the, um, the regulator is set up differently for a sub 12 pound gun. So I don't know how accurate these values will be for anyone outside of the UK or that bought 
a rifle from anyone other than Francisco at Edgun Spain. So that's about it guys. Um, I hope you found this interesting or useful. And just as a final note, these values are from my gun. I obviously can't tell what your gun's set up like or what your gun will do when you adjust it. So if you're in doubt, leave it alone. Um, I really couldn't recommend anyone do this just on these values alone. Um, I would much rather you see you use a regulator gauge or the Valkyrie Reg Tester Kit. As a final test of repeatability, I thought what I'd do is using my values here, I'll pick a reg pressure and want to set it at 70 bar. I'll adjust it to this value here, 7.5 or just under, and see what that gets us when I repressurize the gun, see if it's repeatable. So, let's adjust. According to my chart, it should be one complete turn and a quarter. And that should get us near to 70 bar. About there with the calipers, 7.5, just under. So, I'll repressurize this and see what we're getting. Here it is. Still set on 70 bar. As you can see there. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.